Boyaka, boyaka, jungle is passé. This show is all about learning and thing. And we think this is when we went to school, at the Matthew School. I still have to keep my distance because there's a few detentions left unserved that they're trying to gum me down for. But education don't never stop, which is why we checked out my main man, MP Tony Ben, to ask him about politics and thing. Man, that guy likes a fight. Check this out. Wicked, I is here with none other than Tony Ben. He been in the political game for many, many years, so nobody knows it like he does. And he is gonna explain what socialism is and what all the left stuff is going on. <laughs> what is socialism, Tony? Socialism is about organization, it's about democracy. So why do they call it the welfare state? Is it because it's welfare? national insurance. But unemployment benefit is wicked because you get money for doing nothing. Is that what social yeah, why are you doing nothing if you've been sacked? Because you're chilling. Well, <laughs> this idea that if you're unemployed, you're lazy is absolute rubbish. We ain't saying that it's because you're lazy. We're saying you, you want to chill, whatever, you know. What do you mean you want to chill? You want to relax. You don't want to have to get up every morning and like seven in the morning. The miners decided to close the pits because they wanted to be lazy. So do you think young mothers should get welfare? Well, of course. But does the welfare not just encourage young girls to go out and get jiggy with Mr. Biggie? <laughs> yeah, I keep saying that. If you think girls get pregnant because they think they'll get benefit, I think you're living in a funny world. For real, for real. They, there's girls in my estate or whatever, they're 16, 17, they already got one kid, and well, they see something have, nice yeah. in the shops, they think, is me going to go and get a job? Or is me going to go and get wealthy, then me can sit on me batty and watch Vanessa or whatever. No, come on, you're no, not no, living no. in the real world, my friend. You're living in a world where everybody's just so bloody greedy right. that there's no hope of building a better society, and that's why we're in a mess. For real. <laughs> is calling a strike not a bit like calling a sickie? Like you had like a really banging weekend or whatever, and you was well knackered or whatever, you ring up and you just what say... What if you go on strike? You're going to you have a strike. Income. I mean, nobody wants to go on strike. After all, yeah, you but if you was knackered or whatever, you had a really full on oh, weekend. Oh, blimey, if you think it's like a hangover... You have a strike. I mean, the miners were on strike for a year. They had no wages for a year. The women had to struggle. But then they must have been well lazy if they did a whole year. <laughs> La look, they wanted work, and the government stopped them from having the right uh, to work. So they gave up their income to fight for their jobs and their children's jobs. But everyone going on about the right to work, what about the right not to work? Well, that's good. If, you, uh, if you don't want to work, then... Uh, uh, for real. Well, I mean, that's just not true of most people, does it? Most people really want to work. You want to work, you wouldn't be no, here me don't. No, me want to work when we want to work, but most of the time we want to chill, we want to hang with me bitches, whatever. <laughs> you just want you to work. treat women with a great deal of disrespect. You call them a bitch as if you were that a dog. No, that ain't a term of disrespect. Well, it is a term of disrespect. It's just like animals. You're, talk, you're calling no. them animals. I think this really does come down, in the end, not to an argument about politics, uh, but an argument between you. You've got no time for people. You think they're lazy, greedy, don't want to work. You call women bitches. And then you're asking me about a society that's happy. Well, I tell you, a society like that, somebody shoot you one day because you treat them like an animal. So... Why is it everyone is banging on about the right to vote? Because we took us hundreds of years to get the right to vote, and we wouldn't have had the welfare state, we wouldn't have had full employment, wouldn't have had anything that uh, matters if we hadn't had the right to vote. But what's so good about it? I mean, I went once, and it was rubbish. How is you meant to choose who you vote for when you ain't never heard any of the names? You well, just vote name. for the one with the most stupid name. It's Dinky Pinky Dinky or whatever. Well, if you think people do that, you see, you haven't got much confidence in people. But what me saying, Mr. Ben, is why don't they get people who people has heard of? Why don't they get, like, Frank Bruno standing or Van Eaton standing? <laughs> the good thing about the celebrity means that you know what they is like. Otherwise, you get an MP yeah, well, and I then mean, you I'm... find after a year that they is, like, you know, sleeping well, with horses or whatever. <laughs> so we just want to say thank you, right. Tony Ben. No, it's been fun. I enjoyed it very much. Maximum <laughs> respect going out to my main man, Tony Bear. <laughs> nice to see Keep you. Keep it real.